kama ingekuwa ni watu wa Citizen TV ama KTN TV ah, ama wote hawangeulizwa why should sa Omar. Hey guys, welcome to Pamrek Show and today we have said we come to the expert mwenyewe. Atuambie yeah. mambo vile iko. Juu sengine unaenda auction unapata umepata kitu ni bei rahisi kabisa. Kitu imewekwa bei yani inakutoa mpaka Meru, inakutoa Garissa ukiona kitu ni 100,000 without knowing what is really going to happen once you buy this item. Now with Omar, he has been dealing with these uh, vehicles uh, from all sorts and kind of motor vehicles, whether ni Prado, whether ni Volkswagen Passat, whether ni Mercedes Benz, whether ni Toyota kind of any type of vehicle. I'm a deal nazo. Ikua kwa accident kapisana inasimama. So he knows the cost, he knows how this vehicle looks, he knows the worth of the vehicle and the reserve prices that they have put. Plus, ile be hiyo gari imeuzwa. Si ndio ba? Kweli kabisa. Wewe unafuata mtu amefika pale kwa auction, yeah. ameambiwa gari imerisabiwa like uh, kuna hiyo Mercedes Benz yenye nilikuwa nakuonyesha hapa saa hii. Yeah. Mercedes Benz ilikuwa reserved uh, 2 million. 2 million bob. Eh, maoni yako hiyo mazini kwanza vile inakaa <laughs> before hata utuambie kama cost yake ni worth it ama ungefikiria. Oh, well, mimi kama hii Mercedes honestly nikiangalia I think that uh, it's a good car. Mercedes is uh, any day a very good car. Yeah. It's a German machine, German technology. Kila mtu anaheshimu German technology. Uh, but as we all know, ukikuwa na German technology, hiyo gari huwa haiharibiki viraisi. Lakini everybody uh, knows ikiharibika na yeye we naye. Hiyo <laughs> kidogo kama kubwa. Ikiharibika tu hapo sasa ndio utajua eh chanzo na na chanjo. Sasa ndugu yangu, hii gari, hiyo eh, suspension peke yake ii ya hii gari uh, i tell you moja ni 90000 yeah this uh, yeah, yes S3 this s350 uh, S3 sasa mm. if you look at the air suspension mbili peke yake you're looking at almost 200000 plus just to import them to kenya si ni kweli uh, uh, alafu unaangalia bonnet imegongwa so you have to replace the bonnet grill iko sawa bonnet imegongwa bumper imegongwa uh, 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 windscreen imevunjika so ni kiangalia windscreen you're looking at about maybe you can impala ama wapi maybe you're looking at 20000 unaona windscreen, windscreen 20 25000 utapata windscreen uh, no skirt nataka no skirt nataka taa hizi ni HID lights so easy easy taa peke yake i'm telling you 200000 taa taa uja uja yeah sasa si air pair because wewe mmoja mmoja itakuwa mpya na mmoja zake oh unaona uh. alafu kuna kitu kingine inaitwa gari imeharibu radiator. Unaona? Eh. Yeah. Haya, hatuja hatuja we are not allowed kufungua. So, tunaweza uh, estimate maybe hata engine imeguswa. God forbid engine iko imeguswa tu hivi kidogo. Kama imefinya imewafinya ime radiator na nini? Okay, yeah. that's okay because you can always go and repair the radiator. Ununue no skirt, uwe kitengeneza hii gari na kwa barabara Nobody will ever tell that hii gari imeshawa ipata accident Lakini ikiko imegusa engine, uh, you're in trouble Engine diyo kila kitu wapo This engine alone mm. is worth more than 500,000 Tunaongile about 400, 350 to 450,000 Iyo ni kuinunua na ndio ulete uweke kwa gari, unaona? Uh, so if you're looking at engine na plus kutengeneza hii gari maybe shocks and whatever whatever you're looking at maybe 5 uh, no so sorry uh, 650 to 750000 now mununua hii gari 3 million no 2 million, million eh? now we spend 750000 again imesha kuwa gari unataka kupeleka inspection ukienda okay, inspection you still need to remove it from gk okay. to kenya number plate you have to pay the taxes you have to pay the duty you have to kabla uh, uingize kwa system you will have spend a good amount of at least the value of this car kama for example ukiangalia ni value yake ya 3 million na nini hiyo minimum minimum you look at at least 3 400000 nyingine imekukost almost now total itakuwa the one point one ama one yes let, let's say repairing oh pamoja na buy price yes one uh, three point, three point two million 
So is it worth it ama mtu angekuja tu kwa mtaa atafuta kitu kama hiyo. Sasa tunaona vitu kwa auction. Eh. Unadhani umeangukia. Yeah. But hujapiga hizo cost. Watu wapige mm. cost man. Unajimba kwa nini? Yes. Wanafurahia na watumia picha, yeah. unakuja kwa auction, mtu yeah. akwa excited. Yeah. So unapata reserve ni 2 million. Hajafanya yeah. hata research yeah. huku nje aone gari inatoka aje kama yeah. worth it. Mm-hmm. What do you, you tell them especially what our Mercedes wanadhani everything ni Mercedes kitu mzuri. Okay, mimi ukiniuliza for someone who is going to buy this car mm. for parts, I think it's a good deal. Lakini not at 2 million. Ingekuwa inauza 5 700,000 you buy it for parts, uuze for parts. That's a good deal. Utauza milango, you know mlango yake yeah. maybe even unapata maybe ni 60,000 70,000 moja. So so Hizo part part na part, kuna... part dashboard VT nini but to buy this car register it and drive it in Kenya I'd much rather go niende ninunue an ex Japan car ama ex Germany car ni register na ni, na it, it is going to cost me cheaper and molested gari ko sawa that is my opinion of course everybody has got their own opinion Everybody is entitled to say what they think and you know some people go to an auction ni kama sport ni kama ka sport yani wana wana kusema i won i won that thing unaona ni title nimeshinda yani nilifika pale auction man nilishine gari ya tu kama zile jiwagon gari 3.8 3.8 million but but we all know my brother There is nobody in their right mind and I can put my money on that one e, alilipa 3.8 million hizo gari hazikulipiwa more than 2 to 300,000 realistically na I, I think I, I share that photo mwenye nilinywa hizo gari one individual alinywa hizo gari zote ine zote yes so hazikununuliwa kwa hiyo price and, and, and anybody who says otherwise Feel, yeah, tafadhali feel free kwenda kutuletea hiyo sell agreement ama Everything. sell price utuonyeshe hiyo gari lizua at 3 million because i mean kama kuna ukiinge tu just jiji mm. unapata gari imesimama inatembea iko na, na plate at 2 million gari nyingine inatoka kwa 800,000 jiwagon ukipata jiwagon nimelala pale kwa barabara kule watu wanauza 500,000 Why would you buy a car for 300,000? I mean 3 million bob, it doesn't make sense. Brother, gari ya 1980 something. Ama were they considering because it's coming with a new number plate. When do we tengeneze ikuje ikuwa Jwagon AMG 63 na ADK kumbia. Ama wako. Let me tell you brother. Ama please issue. The people look at wewe jamani nuno hizo gari. He has no interest. Eh kutengeneza hiyo gari ati sasa sijui nini nini yeye alikuwa ananunua namba unaona uh-huh. what he will do ataenda nunue gari nyingine yuko nje akuje ile jua ile chases achukue hiyo namba achukue hiyo logbook aende a change pale apatue KDD or the latest number plate aekele that means you have a brand new number a brand new car on an old chases mm. unaona and the only thing which shows hiyo gari ni ya zamani ni year of manufacture ukiangalia unapata ni 1987 but sa KDD na ni G wagon uh, the latest <laughs> yani hey, hapa nje kuna vituko hapa nje kuna man if you ukienda ukiwa green hapa uta, uta i mean you'll be surprised why eh <laughs> meaning now kuna hizi gari hiyo ingine next omar eh? mm-hmm. jo tunaona hii hi mercedes benz imekuwa ni bori huyu huyu amefanya hesabu ju alinunua na 2 million and 20000 aliongezea tu 20000 alikuwa na watu wengi uh, but yeah nikaenda kwa kuangalia kama imechukuliwa yeah. nikapata gari bado iko pale so i was see. wondering yeah waliweka hiyo ni surprise iko juu na bado gari ilichukuliwa ama why sasa si ndio tumerudi pale tumerudi we've gone back to the drawing board my brother eh? what people are doing now if you want i think anyway let me not just say because i think nikisema it will be exposing a lot but i want to tell you now government officials wata hata wakisema sivyo hivyo ni hivyo 
There is no way utanunuyo gari 2.2 million 20,000. There is no way. Hiyo gari ujamaa mebid ikakuwa the highest price watu wakashindwa nayo is the only bidder. Sasa sasa hii atarudi what will happen is watarudi waruzie the next because this car has to be picked. What I say my this guy didn't 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 come didn't show no show in no show so what what happens is kama watu walikuwa wameka ni 20000 100000 100000 sasa kama walikuwa wameka 100000 now inasemekana you lost that 100000 naona but what happens is unajua hata kama sisi tulienda tukaweka mapesa kule na we lost some money but i want to tell you eh hiyo pesa ina 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 is nothing compared to now sasa itaenda iuzwe sasa kwa price nyingine waseme now because we are still disposing this car uh, let's put it at a reasonable price yende tu yende tu hawa na za ikata maybe 200,000 wapatie nani? wapatie uh, the next of kin so auction ilikuwa tu wa publicity auction is a formality hey. <laughs> umesema hivyo ikani kumbusha i was uh, at the auction yesterday mm. auction ya uh, water Mm-hmm. This was authority. Mhm. Eh bwana wamenivuruga. Eh. Wataki uchukue camera. Sasa hata usonia yeah. bwana shida. Eh. The staff. Yeah. Eh, hey, yani wako na interest na hiyo auction. Yeah. They have their own people wenye wanataka paka mm-hmm. usonia amechanganyikiwa nini inaendelea. Eh, yeah. hey, anasema acha nini na Patrick afanye kinya afanyanga hiyo sisi yeah. tunashi. Yeah. Then the public staff. Yeah. They charge Mm-hmm. na senior manager wa water resource authority. Yeah. Ah ananiambia hapana hatukitaki hapa. Yeah. Then they are hiding unapata hii kitu yani imepangwa imepangwa washaamua nani yes. ataenda nayo yes. nani ataenda nayo. Au wanapiga kelele ni hao wenyewe walikuwa wako na interest zao ziko pale. You see now when the government inasema ukitaka kufanya a government auction you need to gazette it watu waende formality Form, as, it's a formality but hizi mtu ziliuzwa kitambo kila mtu alikuwa ashachagua yake na wewe sasa umeenda ku shine light into the real deal unaona yani watu wote sasa zamani watu walikuwa wanaenda auction wapata auction watu, watu kidogo sana because who reads the paper watu wangapi wanasoma gazeti baka leo wachache ni watu wachache sana everything imeenda online digital So you find that watu kidogo sana wameenda na watu kidogo maybe hawana interest ya kununua maybe mtu amekuja kuchukua gari zile ndogo manisa ntida whatever whatever. Mm. So zamani auction haikuwa na pressure because already uh, kila mtu ashajipanga wewe ukishajua pale unataka gari fulani just go talk to someone you get it. Wewe ndio mdosi wewe ndio HR manager or the, you're the you are the um, let's say you are, you are you're someone prominent unaona mm. so me i can say is uh, patrick you are going to receive a lot of uh, in fact i applaud you because you are very strong ingekuwa mtu mwingine ungekuwa usha give up kitambo sana ni ukweli eh ni ukweli zile ha, zile mambo nabidia <laughs> because you've been threatened uh, uh, umetaka kutupwa nje umeshikwa na mapolisi wanataka kuchukua baka equipment yako kabisa eh wanakwambia hata tumekuwa there are times tuko na wewe tunaambua delete Tueni. delete hii kitu umepiga hapa na imagine tuko nje ya gate tunawataka hata tupige nini eh na ule wenye watu wengine wanakubaliwa kuingia na simu sisi hatukubaliwi unaona so I, i want to say that uh, guys let me tell you patrick is doing a very important job because We need someone like huyu ni ni whistle blower. We need someone like him so that we can find we can find justice into these auctions. Mm. People e, 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 easy gari zinauzwa hapa ni za nani? Ni za public uh, money. This is imetumika tax zetu, the public funds za Kenya zimetumika and who should be buying these cars? is the public the public watu wa wananchi wa kawaida wale wenye mtu anaona hapa siku haipata chance ya kukuwa na gari fulani but Mwenyezi Mungu amefungua njia sasa leo kuna auction let me find myself such a car yenye umepata ni taxes zake tu zilikuwa zimelipia so who really deserves that car if i was the president let me uh, and i say the president is doing a very good job but if i was the president uh-huh. mimi ningesema 
Ningesema hii kitu kwanza first priority ipatiwe wananchi. Mm. Wananchi wasipo na nini? It's like unaona una, una kama nani? Unaona unaona kama kwa betting. When you when you're doing kwa ukienda kwa kwa kama hizi kwa nani ma, ma betting sites. Uh. The staff wale wanafanya kule kama wanafanya kwa betting company you're not allowed to bet. Oh yeah, yeah. Because you utaji, utajifanyia mafavors uweze kushinda. Mm. Unaona that's why wanasemaga kama wewe ni staff unafanya kwa lottery or the betting companies wewe as a staff haukubaliwi ku bet. So that you can you can uh, you can uh, I mean obviously you have an upper hand kuna yeah, mtu anajua yes. pale mwenye ameandika ile namba you know and the algorithm unaweza cheza nayo exactly time. unaona uh, that is the reason unapata mtu anafanya kwa betting company is not allowed to bet unaona hii na jua wananchi so such cars ungepatia kwanza priority wananchi wananchi wakishindwa wa basi wale wadosi wetu wachukue and i'm not saying it's everybody i'm not saying what dosi wote ni wabaya we love the government what the government is doing tunaona wanafuatilia haki tunaona ni watu wa justice when there are many times wote wametaka kukupiga kukupiga vita pale lakini unapata mdosi mmoja anasimama against au wote wengine anasema hapana huyu kijana is only just trying to shoot his content unaona na kama ingekuwa ni watu wa Citizen TV ama KTN TV ah, ama wote hawangeulizwa why should a, a, a freelance youtuber mwenye anatafuta kuanga ku, 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 kusaidia watu unajua we, wewe unafanya kazi ya, ya kusaidia watu you are giving people information mm. and information is knowledge and its power sasa ukikuwa unasaidia watu watu wengine wataki watu wasaidike because unaambia watu kweli na hizi auctions zitajaa na watu watashindwa kwenda ku au walikuwa wa, wa, kujishikia wanashindwa kujishikia because kuna umati so i want to upload you bana brother hata unapoaga uko na bidii bana na uko roho juu uko roho juu bana acha nikaze kabisa eh maro maro ukiona amenara hivi leo ni friday leo leo ni friday leo siku ya msikiti anataka kama ametoka dubai street unajua mimi nasemaga siku ya tuweke mungu mbele kabisa unajua as in as much as tunakaa kwa hii dunia tunataka kwa nguvu za Mwenyezi Mungu maana yake wezi jua kesho utamkaje kesho utakuwa kwa dunia sasa tafuta ya hii dunia lakini pia make sure bado unatafuta ya, ya the after ndio maana naambia tenda mema na uta mambo yako yatafunguka so ikifika juma hmm. atuseme eti siku zingine uwe mbaya na ifike friday peke yake ndio uwe mzuri but i think on a friday hmm. at least hiyo ndio sunday ya islamu you need to at least uh, pay uh, your respect tunaenda pale msikiti unaomba unakutana na imati wengine unaongeza imani <laughs> kabisa kabisa ndugu yangu so omar yeah. kuna hiyo extrail hiyo extrail uh, unaiona aje gk uh, a48 uh, 489k ingekuwa ni wewe hii gari hmm. Honestly mimi naona ni gari nzuri. Na ilikuwa reserve 225,000. Ikauzwa 500. That is not a bad price uh-huh. for a 4x4 gari ambaye haijapata ija accident gari ukiangalia. I think hata mtu anaweza chukua aende apige buffing. Uh-huh. Uende upige buffing hiyo paint mm. na you don't even a must you paint it. Uanze kutumia nona uh, uh, hoping that the engine is okay it's okay uh, you nona. assumption eh? yes nona mm. so at that price sio mbaya so 225000 it's not a bad price lakini ikienda zaidi for a car like this which i can say maybe igari ilikuwa ni 2000 and uh, 2006 2007 so a 2006 2007 car mm. we are talking about almost what 16 17 18 years old ni mzee so always ni ambie gari you are supposed to buy it at 500000 na retail price yake Kenya watu wanauza 450 500 oh, unaona uh, so you still have to buy this car and change the number plate to the latest number plate ya Kenya ulipie duty na tax so if you are buying it at the reserve price or something a little bit slightly more mm. kidogo tu it's not a bad deal Oh ni good ni said ukinunua 353 na cost ya kufanya hivi sio mbaya let's say sio mbaya you're getting a new number plate uh, 
Uh, I am sure the government I me to me buy because of an accident. Yeah. Mm. Uh, that's awesome. So I but I could go Oh man, yeah. Yeah. Volkswagen Passat. Volkswagen is Volkswagen Passat. Okay. German technology. That's why he up. Eh, Zilikuwa kaza. Azote mingi. Yeah. Zikona impact ya mbele. Impact ya mbele. Windy screen imevunjika. Mm -hmm. Na engine, kuna zingine engine kabisa imeoza. Imeoza, yes. Mm. Ukiangaria reserve price zingine zimepewa reserve. Kama hii, ilikuwa imepewa 3... 370 something. Hii na 325. 0.37. Yes, that's a he. Okay, I, I, let me tell you, German technology is a very good car. Ukiangalia in terms of you're looking for, ukiangalia in terms of buying a Toyota and buying German technology, I'd say German technology anytime. If you're a person uh. who lives, ukitafta safety. Kuna, kuna, kuna mtu there, there are so, so many types of uh, buyers out there. Uh, kuna buyer ule nanunua gari because of uh, uh, fuel mm. consumption. Na kuna moja nanunua because of speed. Mtu wa subaru angaliagi speed. Ang, angaliagi fuel. Unajua? Because, oh, yeah, I mean, yeah. subaru is subaru. Ni, ni, ukikanyaga tuende na inakunywa. Unawana, na kuna mtu mwingine ananunua gari because of safety. So, if you are buying this car for safety, uh -huh. Very good. Uh, Nikiangali hii kondisyoni hii gari. Mm. I think hii gari you need about, okay, like at least your front nose, bonnet, fender, uh, shocks maybe, and a windscreen. So you're looking at about maybe another 150, 180, 200k. Mm -hmm. Nona, uh. gari rudi kwa barabara. So reserve price yake na unaiko 325. So if you're paying uh, about 380, it's a good deal. That's a good deal. So deal buyer. He has to cost another 500 kwa mshu. Ah, pana, pana. Unless the engine is meguswa. But this is only kama engine is okay meguswa. Ina, ina impact. Donate ina za nyoroshwa vizuri na ikae fresh. Hmm, ina nyoroshwa. Kama kikuja Omar Garage, mina kunyoroshwa hiyo. Yo mana ni kwa hapa ni pati opinion ya u. Si, si propaganda. Yeah. Mutu anaza niambia ndiyo fabric. Nirinunua hea, niliona mukiongea. Yeah. Nika yake wapi. Yes. Na wambia niko wapi. Omar Garage. Yeah, Omar Garage. Yes. Kweli kabisa. Tika hapa leta gari yako. So. Absolutely. Omar. Yeah. He was a good deal. Na hapa hii yes. gari kama hii naenda kama pesa ngapi. Ya 20, niliangalia ni ya 2014. 2014. 2014 model. Kwa 800, 900,000, 1 million. Kama umenyorosho. Kama hiko mitulia vizuri ya. Uh, uh. So siyo gari mbaya. Na okay. siyo deal mbaya. Mm. This was not a bad deal. Okay. Mm. Now we have a uh, kuna hii pujo. Cha hii ya mwisho mm. hapa. Oyo pujo, oyo pujo, oyo na ilikuwa tatu, European mwingine, eh, eh. sasa oyo kuna auction, eh, aziku ni unuliwa, aziku wana watu wana bidu, wow, they <laughs> neglect the pujo, shinda ni nini, Hapa. let me tell you, uh -huh. hakuna gari mina za kuambia, ikona guarantee ya kutembea kama pujo, feel safe, na I say that this is not a bad car, watu wana ugopa to resale, Oh. So if you're an enthusiast, unanunua hii gari juo, we unapenda safety, safety is very very good, gari ni raisi kuinua hii gari, kuregister, kuendesha, kui, kui nani, kui, you know, kuitengeneza, repair cost yake nini, very stop. very easy, stairs in a jack ila maali. Ah. Bilikuwa reserved, kuna ilikuwa reserved 90,000, yeah. kuna 160,000. Yeah. But haikuwa na bidders, though we know it, hauzo to through back doors. Yes. Why would majority mbona wana avoid? Tumiamini Toyota sana. Hey, Kenya, <laughs> Kenya wakisikia Toyota, eh? kila mtu na ruka hapo. Because Toyota ziko na resale value. Oh. But European cars azina. Like a Mercedes, Mercedes unanunua leo. Ukitembea nao mwaka, when you, watu usema ukinua Mercedes, you're buying that car for yourself. For yourself. For yourself, yeah. Yani wei juu sikuilo nda kuuza, utauza yo gari ya Sara. Unawana? Oh. Ni kama kukua na nani na Q7, Q5. Tunona gezi ma Q5 wazinaga market. Wazina market. Unona Q5 moja mrembo, eh, mrembo, watu nasike gari ni over 600,000. Unawana? Oh. Nani 4 by 4. Mm. Nani much more better looking than easy to So I, I, I want to tell you, 
this is a good car. Hii ni gari nzuri. Yeah. But it needs someone who knows this car na ni enthusiast wa gari. Unajua mtu ananunua hii gari kama mimi pijuti yangu mwenye anakuja kununua pijuti yangu ayaba 2000 uh, 1957 and a 1955 Peugeot 203. Mlango ni suicide, mm-hmm. ni old school zile ziko pale nje. Nimestengeneza someone who is coming to buy that car kulizi gari ni gani. He knows exactly and he knows the work. So, 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 so I, I want to tell you that this car mm. mwenye nanunua a, ni ule mtu mwenye alikuwa anatumia hii gari babake alikuwa na hii gari alikuwa anaenda nao shule you know wako na wame, wame grow up with the pigeot family wako na historia yake na wanaona ni gari reliable ushana this mtu anaendesha gari hii pia na hizi nuna tota by the way akae nayo kabisa hata afadhali watu wa Mercedes nani watu wa ofisi watu wa IT Eh uh, unaona gato na kwa European cars na they will never buy a Toyota. So watu wa European ni European watu wa Toyota ni Toyota. Ni unapata mtu anunua gari na anakaa nayo for quite some mm, time. Eh? Ndio 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 kabisa. Eh hey. yes. No Omar. Yeah. Eh uh, considering the reserve prices of project mm. na resale value. Mhm. Would you recommend mtu mwenye aja inunua gari? Anze na jam na gari za Germany ama tu anze. Wewe mm-hmm. kama unaanza, anza je watu wananiambia mimi nataka kuanza na gari yangu nitafutia mm-hmm. Rwanda. Mm-hmm. Naambia aje sasa aanze huko Germany ama Toyota tu. That's a very good question brother. Now, if you are someone who has money and you want to start life with a good car, I recommend you know pigeon to talk and not accident. God forbid you are safe mm. gari ni rahisi kutengeneza naona mm. spare zimejaa they are not very cheap kama toyota but they are available naona but if you are someone who is after the budget if you want a budget car always buy toyota always 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 you'll never go wrong toyota ni budget yani uh. shoke toyota unaenda unanunua 35 toyota 110 eh uh, na shoke ya pujo unainua kwa at 6000 what moja so if you are if you are a budget person cheza toyota cheza toyota if you are a person who is looking for comfort ya familia yako drive safety kila kitu go for a pigeon a pigeon or any other german car or german machine you'll never yani you'll enjoy awesome mm. so this, this, this segment is as short as sweet the way imekuwa hivyo Mm-hmm. and i just decided to come to omar seek for some guiders because this is his area na wa unanunua gari pale unashindwa hasa utaianzia wapi kama unaiona unashindwa imekukoroga so i think uh, when we have some issues tunakuja kwa omar kabisa omar unawaambia aje tukuja mara mimi naweza kuambia first of all yeah. when you want to buy something call me nitawapatia <laughs> business card Uh, I think when they want to buy something also just call for advice my number is 0700088088 again 0700088088 uh, YouTube tonight to Omar's garage uh, Facebook Omar Classic garage um uh, TikTok Omar garage you so i mean uko kila mahali niko kila mahali watakupata everywhere yes and feel free to call me anytime my brothers my sisters kila moja for advice i will i give you advice feel free to come to the office we will not charge you for any advice kuja look at what we do see decide at least if at least we got a guidance so me i want to i want to tell the people when you wanna kuja kwa pamrick show that pamrick is an angel in the car industry my guys uh, i want you to tell i want to tell you guys that uh, first of all mushukuru sana that we wanna mtu kama pamrick because pamrick amepigwa vita amesukumwa ameteswa but bado yuko pale pale kwa ma auction na kijaribu kuwapatia information akinyimo access anajaribu kuwapatia information i think you got the in, in the auto industry you got an angel because not many people want to tell you na kuna mtu anani yani this is something which is being out of his own heart nona because if it is not his heart nobody can pay you enough kwa ile mashida patrick anapitia Noana lakini what I want to tell you is um, shikeni mkono make sure you subscribe you tell your friends about his show so that show yake endele kukua 
so that huu uh, jamaa isifike mahali pia alemewe asiki imekuwa mzito unaona na also i want to introduce him kwa makamit na makasho so that at least i want him to be enhancing uh, your knowledge in terms of every other car so tutakuwa tuna review magari zingine mzuri mzuri na very very soon naenda tunazikagua yes kabisa pamoja na tukikuwa na kamit tunaenda na yeye pia wewe unaona anaonyesha magari zingine beats the speed cars beats the the german technology beats the custom uh, field of of cars so i think uh, patrick i, I really applaud him na na, na maplause because he knows how to explain things and pertain to detail and not many people that don't get about kitu na you watch the video for more than one minute but patrick you know even me i like the way and an explain you what with with detail he tells you about this car ni pigeot inauzwa bei fulani iko mali fulani na una igari je gongo mbali you know like as in he tries to give you the maximum information you can get So when you're going to buy something at least you have the full information and uh, not many people will give you that. What you wengi wako na wako na you know they still want to catch everything for themselves. Sasa kama wewe if today ulikuwa kweli you are doing this thing the way you benefit ungekuwa na gari ngapi za auction and I'm sure you don't even have to, one even till today. Hata moja. Hata moja. In the moment nitaingisha self interest. Yes. Sasa utakwaza uko na ku hold back. Eh? Yes. Utamwaza let everybody benefit. So now you see, see na and this this is not at nini ama nini it is a true story guys. True story. Patrick with this public show He is a very very honest guy. Unasikia hana hata gari gani moja ya auction. Unaona? So he's not doing this so that I end as a benefit. He's benefiting you guys cool angels. Sasa all the the only thing which you can do honestly ni ku subscribe kwa channel, tell your friend, tell a friend so that channel yake grow na tuweze kuendelea kumsupport na tumshike mkono and you'll be seeing much more of Omar's garage and Omar mwenyewe explaining about cars because now this has become a cult tunataka tupatie watu the real information to what i want to tell you is uh, you know when you see something good ikiendelea try to even make it better for the for, for your friend so that's what real friendship is all about guys so karibu sana at a public show na Omar's garage tunawapenda sana na tunataka tuendelee kuwapatia information na tuendelee vizuri guys na nyinyi naweza nataka kuambia nyote Ijumaa Mubarak mwenye na Ijumaa imebarikiwa na mwenye na watch Monday <laughs> mwenye na watch Monday <laughs> and just the Friday aende I watch I watch vizuri tena <laughs> nasema yeah. ukipaka mafuta relax mtu aseme mazuri yako na nashukuru sana Omar karibu sana not everybody can appreciate what somebody is doing but i really thank you even for an opportunity like this to get some views about the his industry because you've been here for a long time Kreli. you have uh, helped different individuals with their cars and Kreli. everything Kreli. and um, if you are considering to visit a garage consider Omar garage kuja uliza maoni Kreli. na utasaidika okay Kreli. so today ilikuwa kupitia tutapata anga vile tulikuwa na ka, 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 na Omar garage iko wapi? Ruire. Karibu na Zite University. Ndani ya Bazaar Motors. Hapa ndani kabisa. Yes. Na uh, description uh, hapo. Yaani itakuwa straight. Yes. But, and, uh, and 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 very soon we'll have another location. It's a secret location but we'll have another it's loading. Yeah. It's loading. It's 90 90%. Yes, 90%. Percent. Eh? We'll have a new location. Na hapo tuta, tuta we, it will it is going to be better guys. Better. Yes. And uh, you know my we we want a garage not which is just going to be a garage tunataka mahali it will be a place where you come to socialize ni kama unakuja kukutana na watu wa gari watu wa gari wakutana na nani you know the auto industry na unakuja not only uh, i want a garage which you can go and shoot pool bana unafika ah, hapo unapata watu gari yako pale eh una shoot pool unaweza nyolewa pale eh kuna ka- cafeteria pale unaweza shika kabaga hapo naona hapo yeah hii itakuwa awesome kabisa kabisa thank you so much welcome guys thank you for tuning in kindly consider to subscribe 
uh, kama wewe ni mpya hapa kwa hii show because we have a lined up a different cup of uh, uh, events and activities that we will be sharing with you across this program so my name is Patrick Mutuma I was hosting Omar's na tuko hapa Omar's garage see you guys until next time God bless. Karibu sana bana bro. Hey, always nice. Love you around brother.